pizza time. Another episode of Baked Buddies. Today we're making pizza. I have Ben and I have Tristan and we're going to get started. Good job. So first off, uh, half, one and a half cups of water. So you have one and a half cups of warm water and then you add a sachet of the yeast and you let it sit for five minutes. So you add one sachet of active yeast. Are you going to pan to the water? Yes. Can you open this? I can't open it either. <laughs> <laughs> put me in, put me in. I'll do it while holding the camera. I got strong hands and you watch this. You failed, you failed. You're done. You're out. Done. Oh wow, man. Yeah. So strong. Yeah, I know, right, boys? <laughs> Thank you, right. We're putting the whole thing in. Dissolve it in the water, yeah. It's the hardest part. Alright, so now we wait five minutes for the yeast. <laughs> so five minutes passed and the yeast has nearly dissolved, so we can stir it a little bit. So the yeast is now like pretty dissolved. Uh, and now it's time to add the flour. So it's three and a three quarter cups of flour. Uh, it's bread flour as well. That's what it looks like. I'm like the one guy who's talking about nothing here. All right, so after that, you need to add two te te teaspoons of salt. When this big bowl, you're gonna make a mess. A teaspoon of salt, and then a teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar just gets added in. What's it for, though? You know, so it's like, for the yeast. It's just like it needs to allow the self-raising flour. We want, we want, we want to learn when we watch these videos. Anyone can read the instructions. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to mix that through and make it a nice base that we'll split into three separate um, bowls because we're going to make three separate pizzas. So you added a little bit of water <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it to rise for about an hour and a half. So as you can see, that's what it sort of looks like and now what we're going to do is we're going to split it. We've let these rise for an hour and a half, and now the plan is we've got to throw them around, toss them, make make them into a circle, and then put them on some trays to get cooking. Yeah. You put so much water in. <laughs> okay, <it's> some flour. <laughs> yeah. Flour this one. You just kneaded out a bit, you know? Um, just go. Did we all wash our hands? hands? Yeah, well, I did. Good. Adam's like, oh. <laughs> I didn't, that's why I'm ready. I had to take it real small. Big. Either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Tristan, you gotta... Hang on, how was it again? A little... <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Right. Couple holes in it, but looks nice. This is not making it nice and round. Really slap it between your hands. Do one of these. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For a good boy. Yeah. Hey, ten second run. <laughs> Tristan skits! Like Tristan Ben, look at Ben's everyone. This is this is a top quality look at pizza. Why? <laughs> Tomato paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, you're listening to Ben. Big guy. More than that. I remember it. <laughs> Around. <laughs> so Ben's front Tristan. <laughs> I think you do meat and then cheese over top. Create the oven boys. Put the oven on for 180 and we'll cook it for about 20 minutes. Nice. Just like they do in the restaurant. <laughs> Put it in. That's my motto. <laughs> um. Alright, so now we wait 20 minutes. Alright, so now we're gonna do the taste test. Oh man, mine looks real depressing. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a center or an edge piece? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's like kinda like a halfway between those. It looks like it'd be tasty though. Oh yeah. We're not yet for the camera. Cool. Yep. Um, that's like your run-of-the-mill freezer pizza. Run-of-the-mill freezer pizza. Those real fluffy. Maybe more than I would like. But Afghanistan. Afghanistan. <laughs> Next week, country is going to be from Afghanistan. What will we make? 
Oh, comment down below. Comment down below what you think we're gonna make. Peace time. Pizza time.